Oh, great. Thanks for joining us in this broadcast. It's the chat portion of the webinar. All right. Um, other one went, ran a little bit longer, so that's why this one. I don't know if I'm going to start recording these live again. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't had any problems with the, doing it this way. Of course, when I do it live, it's a little bit quicker for people, but I'll think about it. It's just, I hate to do it, and then the live thing goes, gets zapped, and then uh, I have to do it again, so. Have a bad hair day, I guess. Okay. All right. Blessings. Uh, excuse me. All uh, right. Blessings. Okay. The angels and positive vibrations, aliens, whatever it might be. All right. Gundam, any messages from my father? Uh, you're going more into yourself, into your creative endeavors. He is not always the most talkative when he was around. And it seems to be, yeah, I just didn't get to know you as much as he'd like to. Um, he's more focused on himself and not always in the best of ways. He's just trying to make it through life, as you know. So, and messages from my higher self. Uh, you're connecting to more higher dimensional dynamic energies to bring in a new vibration through cre once again, creativity. Also, yeah, your third eye is opening up more to tap into more higher dimensional energies. So, yeah, more to what the mental energy is to be tapping into little by little. I do see like two dimensions connecting together. Uh, they're not saying what dimensions they are, what fourth and fifth. That you're seeing. Uh, Carol, are there any messages? My stepdaughter, Michelle. Uh, don't give up. This is a part of. Her awakening is to not just be just too discouraged uh, to manifest what is uh, really she's a manifester more than she might realize. She might manifest good things, but also she might manifest bad things uh, for lessons learned, that need to be learned, but she's going into a, a new cycle. So just be mind your words is what I'm getting. Carol, uh, sorry. Second question Are there any messages for me? Um, let's see. <clears throat> Arturian energies connecting more to nature. Uh, you're becoming more thankful for things. And that thankfulness, uh, others are, right, obviously the same goes to the first question, mind your words. Your words are, like you say your words, your words do come back to you in a good way. Uh, so realize the words that you put out are blessings. On many levels, so you are to change things uh, for your family and direction. And what are there any messages from Archangel Michael? <clears throat> I do see a lot of manifesting energy. I do see a blue light energy, blue angel energies from higher dimensional realms help keep you calm. Also, you are, yeah, manifesting. I do see like. Many different versions of you in astral. You're assisting many that are sick at this time. Are there any messages? Message uh, any messages from my higher self? Yeah, I do see you around you're helping people cross over, but also you're giving others a second chance at out. So you're an angel energy in the higher realms. Um I do see Archangel Michael is connected to you in various levels as like you kind of like a nurse and he's a doctor. The doctor, uh, nurse angel. That's kind of neat. It's different. I haven't seen that before. But of course, you're at a high caliber. Don't feel like you're lower than anybody. Far from it. Well, just the archangel, you know, you can look at it in different ways. They do a lot of things. And there's only so much every soul, every soul does do a lot of things. You know, this person's calling Archangel Michael, this person, that person, that person, that person. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, Maddie, today I read at 11.30 p.m. In my dreams, I called my spirit guides to take me, to help me heal my stutter. And I guess, so I guess I was taken back to my childhood where I see myself as a baby and had gotten sat on by a much bigger baby. That's interesting. 
I see my baby self crying. Debris, was that real? I don't think it was real, but it was something that you went through. Um, it felt like somebody was sitting on your head. Yeah, it's like a pressure. But you are healing it, so keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that's okay. You're doing good. Just keep on. That shows you want to heal. So you're going. That's like symbolism. That's not exactly what happened, but it does feel like you had a, a lot of pressure on from another baby. I mean, another spirit put a lot of pressure on you, and you felt like you didn't want to talk. Let's put it that way. It was more like that. So, a bigger baby, yeah, bigger presence. Did I heal something? Any messages for my guides? Yeah, you're just continuing your process. You're doing good. Yeah, you're believing more in yourself and the energies, and you want you're manifesting a healing here. There's a lot of layers there that you are releasing, so you're on the right track. That's a huge deal right there. Yeah, having a dream like that shows progress. So keep doing what you're doing. Stephen, what am I doing? Astral. I see you're in the twelfth dimension. I see you preparing many levels of realities that are coming into this world, mostly in the future. I also see you keeping some alien beings away from this world that have caused a lot of difficulties. Doesn't mean it's reptilian. But it's similar to that. Some some, some kind of similar energy there. Not going into detail what that is. So. Just... Going to any, or any messages? Um, yeah, you're part of. I know it's. I see borders in space. Obviously, spiritual beings don't normally have, you know, alien beings don't normally have borders, but it does seem like there are some going on. Like we have a border here. Yeah, there, there are some in, in the fourth dimension. Why am I connected to it? It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it just seems, yeah, it's just barriers that were necessary. Do I have to keep worlds away from worlds? Well, of course, you can say reality. Dimensions are kind of borders in some regard. Um, yeah, you're watching the line between the dimensions. Put it that way. I want to say border control, but you are taking care of it. Anna, any messages for me from my guardian angels? Um, I see a lot of, well, I just second question, but uh, I see a lot of healing a lot of feline energies from your past. Um, I do see like a walking dead energy or healing um, mummies or um, zombies and other realities. I don't know if you connect with that, but uh, you can say they're mummies too in some regard. Um, kind of act like that. Yeah. As this world is going through a virus situation, so I think some some of your energies are echoing to that reality in some shape or form. I see, yeah, I see a zombie reality that you're healing at this time. Why is my uncle going through this health problem at the moment? Is there a lesson for him? Uh, just do what you can. I feel like he's sort of developing symptoms, what people are going through. I think he wants to be sick with other people. I feel like he just wants to experience the pain that they're going through. Partly also feels like there's like a humanitarian energy with him. So he is kind of like pulling the, the, the grief of a lot of people into his energy field. Let's put it that way. Any dance? Any messages from St. Germain? Forgiveness is your warning. Forgiveness, healing your astral self. Because you didn't always get along with your astral self, if that is you. You always feel like you put yourself through more torment on this world than you do on other worlds. But here you're bringing out a lighter energy than before. So yeah, you tormented yourself many times. Sometimes you ask your astral self to make your life worse so you can learn more. But now you're coming out of that cycle. Any messages from a oh, Pleiadian? A oh, Ple Pleiadian. Um, yeah, you're going going into a new energy like a glass of water. 
of renewal. This thing of the world drinking glasses of water. And after they drink that glass of water, they look like somebody else. They're a new person. That's what's happening with this world. People are being renewed, but they don't always see it. You might see them as someone different, but they feel it, but don't always see the changes. All right, look at that. Um, did not prepare. All right, Amy, I was stargazing last night. Left, right, there, yeah. And the planet we call Antares, Antares, was just considered the heart of the constellation. Scorpius really spoke to me. I'm curious to know what they look like and what healing abilities that they have, or what the messages they have. Um, they're like tall white beings. Some are blue in skin. Hmm. Yeah, they connect to the heart mostly. They're kind of a simple race in a lot of ways of keeping things simple. So, in your life, you just um, you're bringing more simplicity in a complicated world. Concentrate on yourself. Do things for yourself. It's good, good to have relationship energies. Nothing wrong with that. That helps you grow. Relationships are there for growing. That's why they don't always last. They outgrow each other. They're very healthy, though. What messages does Jesus, Jesus have for me at this time? I'm going to a manifesting energy. It seems like you have some more hairstyles in Jesus. At one time, at least. I don't know about now. But just like you have like that Jesus vibe about yourself as a son. And just so you can remember his vibration is true vibration. Like a female Jesus. But you were in previous incarnations. Yeah. So. It's wonderful. Yeah. You, I don't know if you want to walk around telling people you're a female Jesus, but you can't access their vibration. Oh my God, it's Moses. Does that higher self have any messages for me? Um. There's a buddy did a, a, a spirit guide clearing, a healing, self healing. So the timelines are not 100% clear, but you are at your. So, whatever you want to bring into your energy field, uh, if it's physical, whatever it is that you're looking for, call it in. Whatever it is, it seems like you have uh, made a lot of good deeds recently. Whatever that they're. You might think it's nothing, but the universe says something. It says it's a big deal. So you're on a time of good deeds. So continue to manifest what you feel is right, what you need. Now, my wife and I feel our newborn son has to be, it's called Azira. Is there a connection? Uh, yeah, Azira is, a, look that up. As or Azra, Ezra. Oh, come on, Ezra. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Uh, because that, yeah, because the kid had that name in the past, too. Yeah, it's a vibra it's a vibrational shift. So, yeah, it's a spiritual being, basically. It's like an angelic energy, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the baby named himself. Through you, of course. They call me Ezra. That's an energy. That's a frequency I can live by. Eat. Eric, can do the Pleiadians have any messages for me? I see tall blonde Nordics. I see healing with the, the virus that's going on, of course. Um, I see new timelines of many alien motherships, but also um, the grays as for... Healing the hearts, but also uh, bringing more of the the gray into more of a popular vibration. 
uh, seek out what works with people. A uh, literature, an alien age is upon us. So, and you're involved with whatever, however you want to be involved, wherever you feel, that you, wherever you feel, it's open to you, wherever you, whatever you, you're already contributing right now as we speak. The Ar archangels, yeah, take it, sky's the limit, so wherever you feel. The archangels have a message for me. I do feel like you're, you're healing a twin flame, a twin soul at this time. doesn't mean it's in the physical, but it's definitely somewhere process for And it's a vibration that has been... Has not been healed in a long time. So, what does that mean for you? Just connect to the vibration, see what you feel on that. It's like another side of yourself that's somewhere across the world. So, they are in the physical, though. Not sure what you're wishing to attract, but who knows? Uh, Don, any messages from higher self on events to come next month? Oh, not to worry. Yeah, people are gonna be worried about the virus, but uh, energies will be up, hot, will be heightened. People will be thankful they're still alive, and good vibrations will go around. There will be some paranoia here and there. Yeah, the rules are kind of ridiculous, uh, but overall, people's energies will be pretty good. Any other messages on any subject? Um, you are bringing bringing in a Palladian vibration when it's needed. You're careful on what you bring in, but. It does seem like you can add some asteroid to give them the green light. It hasn't occurred just yet. So, yeah, just live your life as you don't have to focus on any of that, but there will be messages that come through automatically. See, right now you might feel like you're shut off from the universe, but messages will come out of nowhere, and that's sometimes when you just, when you get messages all the time, you don't. You know, but when you get a message from spirit out of nowhere, it shows like it's on. All right, Miguel, I was filling my tank and saw the number 444. Any messages? Yeah, it's a symbol of on-trackness, but also, hmm. yeah, look at things around you. Look around. What do you feel? What do you, yeah, what do you take? Uh, go from an angelic point of view. So if I look at it through, I know people talk about connect to the third guy, third eye. Connect through like the angelic eye, the angel eye. What, what is the angel perspective of the world? Let's see what you get on that. I had some strange dreams this week. Any messages about this? Yeah, you're really seeing a lot of Archon energies, it seems. Trickster energies that are connected to the Earth. Yeah, this is a war of the angels right now, as you can probably feel. So, yeah, so, yeah I expect more. Hopefully not. Uh, Beth, what beings are around me now? What messages they have? I see Palladian energies, tall blonde Nordics, assist you on many levels. Um, Arcturians, uh, definitely just Arcturians that have oceans of different colors, vibrations. You can swim in it and feel just a higher dimensional energy. Feel like you've been renewed on many levels. As you're bringing that energy here, so. Yeah, let your imagination flow on alien worlds, angelic worlds, whatever works for you. Any messages from Prime Creator? You're bringing in new energy from higher astral. They're not going into details exactly what it's about, but it has to do with your own healing. So, yeah, ma Master Manifestor on certain levels, but also uh, you connect to the angels of God in a way of... Renewing an angel's energy, like an injured angel, you have the ability to heal that, and you're healing the the humans that are harder to heal. Heal an angel, like an angel is down, you can heal that vibration. But this world, it's a whole different. As though you're restructuring your vibrations, so it makes you stronger. Keanu, do my guides have any messages for me about my past lives? I do see like a gang is calling energy air healing. Warmongering vibration that you knew him, part of that is tribes and throughout history, which was part of the Asian advancement of the world. I also see Greek lifetimes, also, of you know, just I see Greek lifetimes in uh, Olympics. It's something for you to connect with if, if you feel comfortable with. Yeah, just 
it's another way, way side of you that you're still healing from, you can say. Those are hard times. So, any other messages? I see that unicorn energy. They're connecting to uplifting energies. So, continue. If you see a unicorn, it's sending you a message. Uh, the weird world, of course. A lot of stuff here is uh, reposted from what I can see. Interesting. So, yeah, you're just going to a renewal. Yeah, so the unicorn is a positive vibrations. I do feel, I just felt earthquakes. I don't know what area, I don't know, earthquakes, don't buy what you feel. If there is an earthquake that gets your attention, like you look online or something, ever look it up, see what you're feeling. It seems like it's a, some kind of message that your underground healing is going on, let's say. Yeah, that's what happens to the spirit that inhabited my body before I played and walk in occurred around my teenage years. Any messages from previous energy? Feels like it was a male energy. I mean, it felt like a female, but also a male. I feel like a male was there first. Yeah. To see how things, to look around, see how things, and make sure you're okay. Yeah. There's a female there too that assisted with it. So make sure you're uh, in the right planet. <laughs> There's more to it than that. They're not going into details. Uh, what messages do my Pleiadian guys, Pleiadian guys have at this early birthday birthday gift? Not that I'm you know, birthday is still curious to hear. Uh, yeah, you came here as a a bird being a long time ago. Uh, part of you felt like you knew everything. And part of you was very curious. So you come from a part of the galaxy where they thought they had all the knowledge all what was known to this world was found out. And so you got injured here. I don't know if you got killed here. You might have. But made you more curious. It's like, if this has happened to me now, so that was more of times of the war energies of Atlantis, but you've been part of the higher too, but that's one perspective. We have other bird beings to understand this world too, from different levels. Uh, Mia, uh, do my guides... Any messages from regarding me wanting to move? It does seem like yeah, it's time to shift vibrations, but go go give it time. It might take I don't know what time it's gonna take, but it's gonna take some time. So not to move quickly, but yeah, it seems like you're on a a timeline change. It's up to you, but it feels like it's something necessary for you. But you you know what's best for you. So sometimes you get in a feeling of it and it's like eh. But it seems like it is part of a shift you're going through. Any other messages? The move you're going to, have to take time with, but you're also worrying more about yourself. So, as you graduate, look into that whole moving vibration. It shows you our guys are working with you. Uh, maybe not the fort. So, they are working. They just have a different way of working than you're used to. Miles and Reptilians have a message for me. Seems like you're querying a lot of old relics, old timelines from. The ancient world pyramids, either. So I feel like it's a timeline clearer. The reptilians, um, yeah, they kind of lower your vibration at, at times. Um, maybe during the weekend. If you feel kind of exhausted. Yeah, because it seems like you're kind of going back and forth there. Some of them are headstrong. They just feel like they know everything. Depends on what you're telling you're connecting to. Rob, so if you feel like your mind is tired out if I could worn out it's like is it the reptilians is it the Syrians who is it is talking to you usually it's reptilians not always you just have a lot to learn from them any messages from spirit um you brought a lot of reptilians to this world so they're all friends some of them are no longer allies it's a deep deep wound that you're healing so as you connect with that you'll know more about yourself yeah not yeah i don't mean you don't feel like you brought a lot of negative reptilians here or anything else don't look at it that way i don't know what's going on with this thing i just yeah that was just for me okay
Okay, cool. Vasco. What beings have been around me lately? And uh, messages I feel with Jupiter beings. I feel like some of them are accountants. Oh, that sounds funny. Um, I just see sun energy, sun particle energies that they're warning from the Jupiter beings. Well, they, they can say they add to like accountants. They add kind of that mannerism. But they're looking at the sun vibration and warning from it because it puts out different particles that the people aliens can scan to see what's going on with the sun. So and also connect to the Earth's energy. So you can connect to the sun to connect to Earth. So they get a particle and what they feel from the Earth's vibration from that. Also, some of the sun energies they're getting is helps power their ships. That keeps them going. Any mess any wisdom from the spirit guides or higher self? Um, obviously alien energies are a lot simpler than ours. Yeah, you came here to you came in this world, it's kinda of like going underwater. It's kinda of going into the deep. You come to the deep end of the universe, like under like under the oceans, into the trenches where nobody wants to go. That's where this world is right now. And you've been doing it for some time. It's fascinating and terrifying at the same time as you know. We bring energies back to your family. So like you leave the trenches and you go back in the surface and you connect to your family, your galactic families and all that. Of course, angelic families too. Uh, yeah. It's like you're doing this for a large family. So I'll just leave you with that. Uh, going into public stuff. Uh, you know, was, this is just for public, of course. But yeah, it's just... Uh, I'll let you connect with that. That's what I see. You don't know why I say it like that. So, yeah, we are we are going into peaceful times. It just takes time to get to it. So, all right. Thank you everyone for posting your questions. Hope I got everybody. All right, take care. Have a great uh, rest of your week. We'll be back tomorrow.